Hey everyone, welcome back to Endless Money Pits. This is my 2000 BMW 328i, and today I'm neglecting it in the name of science for you. I've always been told that oil should be changed once or twice a year, regardless of how many miles have been driven, even when using synthetic oil. I've heard a couple different reasons for this. Firstly, oil breaks down over time, losing some of its viscosity in the process, which lowers its ability to protect the internal components of the engine. It's also said that moisture gets absorbed into the oil over time, which lowers the viscosity even further. But is it true? Or is it a myth designed to fool us into buying more oil? And filters. Let's get to the bottom of it. My most popular video so far compares the results of three different oil samples, taken at three different oil change intervals, and the results were not what I expected. If you haven't seen that video yet, you should watch it next. In that video, the 7500 mile sample had been run for just five and a half months, and came back with very positive results. I'm not driving so much these days because I started working from home, so it's taken 25 and a half months to drive 7600 miles since the last oil change. So now you probably see where I'm going with this. Let's compare these two samples and see how much worse this oil is from an extra 20 months of sitting in an engine with little use. For the record, I've used Castrol Edge 5W30 full synthetic motor oil for all of the tests so far, and this car is not garaged. It sits outside all year in the Oregon rain, but I did buy a car cover for it last winter to keep it somewhat dry. After bouncing around the postal system for 17 days, my sample finally arrived at the lab, then another 15 days later. Hey, cut that part out! Then another 15 days later, I finally got the long-awaited results. I'll start with their comments. David, it's okay that this oil was used for a couple years. It's use on the oil that matters, not calendar time, and this report bears that out nicely. The oil hasn't lost its 5W30 viscosity, and it hasn't become contaminated with excess dirt, fuel, coolant, or moisture. The wear metals are still in great shape, comparing nicely to past reports and averages. It's especially good to see iron and lead staying in the single digits given their levels in the first sample. If that first report didn't scare you off 10,000 mile oil changes, we think you could try that interval on the next oil. Looking at the analysis, I was really surprised to see such little deviation between the two samples in almost every category, but there were a few things that stood out to me. Copper content had doubled compared to the previous sample, but there was more in the 5,000 mile sample I sent in for the last video, so fluctuations in small amounts seem to be normal. Tin just barely showed up at one part per million, but none of the previous samples I sent in showed any trace of tin. There could be such little tin in the samples that it just happened to show up this time by chance, but it's probably within the tolerance of error for the machine that the lab uses, so I won't worry about it. Sodium is slightly higher than all the samples I've sent in except for the 10,000 mile sample from the last video, and that oil was run for 11 months. Viscosity looks completely normal in this sample, but I noticed the flash point of the new sample had dropped by 25 degrees. I can't explain why that is, but leave a comment if you think you understand what's going on here. And most importantly, water content has remained at 0.0% as usual. So what does that mean? It was a lie this whole time? So, despite a few things that I'm curious about, every single item on this list falls within spec, and the lab suggests that time just isn't a factor that breaks down or deteriorates oil. Well, at least a reasonable amount of time. With that said, I'm really not interested in leaving oil in my car any longer than this, no matter what the lab says. Anything can happen between oil changes, and as precisely 10,000 comments from my last oil analysis video will tell you, oil is cheap, engines are expensive. That video really is insightful, so check it out before you go. If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe for the best DIY videos on the internet. And until next time, just keep throwing money at it. By the way, you can now support the channel by purchasing this awesome design available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and in a bunch of different colors as well. Check for a link in the description below. Just keep saying to yourself, endless money pit, endless money pit, endless money pit.